how do you tell what the right tax team is to work with? Uh, that's, that's a great question. And at the end of the day, obviously it's a personal choice. Ideally you want someone who's qualified. They must have some sort of license. They must have some skin in the game and chances are they would not be popular. And here's what I mean by that. When you're licensed to practice in, at least in uh, an advanced economy, so like Europe, uh, UK, North America, Australia, New Zealand, right? They, you have a license to practice as a tax advisor or a tax accountant or a tax lawyer. There are rules around your conduct, right? There are rules around your conduct. Like when I started this live stream, I had to say that, you know, hey, nothing I'm saying here should be construed as advice. I'm having a general conversation, general principles. You need to sit with a qualified advisor to get actionable intelligence, right? To get an action plan for moving forward, to help you to tax returns, help you to structuring. You need to sit with someone who knows you inside out. I know you're sending me a message and I'm going to talk to you messages, but nothing you could say in two or three sentences would equip me with all the info I would need to give you real actionable advice. It's not going to happen. So we're constrained in how we put forward our message for someone who is not qualified there are no rules so they can make lots of promises they can say lots of stuff which they don't have to back up and they can straight up lie and they all misrepresent themselves or misrepresent outcomes and there will be no tax there'll be no consequences because they have no license so that's why i say you know you want somebody with skin in the game so someone must have a license right so that's first and foremost understand too that domestic tax is way different from international tax and i'll give you an example of a, of a prospect that approached us a couple of days ago and this is typical of what we what happens all the time you know someone approached us you know they have modest income annual income let's say in the low six figures you know nothing to get nothing unusual right and they're exposed in three or four jurisdictions again that's typical of the kind of clients that knock on our door come through the website that exposure in three or four jurisdictions because of how they work remote worker clients moving around homes in a number of jurisdictions typical pretty typical right and i said okay yeah i'm happy you know let's let's get to know each other show me your most recent return from two or three of those jurisdictions and we can see if there's something here you know if we can help you if we're the right team to help you because we don't claim to know everything you know well maybe we're the, not the right team maybe we are let's see your tax returns and let's see how everything fits together we had a look at his tax returns and oh it, it was it was not in not in a good state right he was paying way more taxes than he needed to his effective tax rate was way too high why because this person he was working with domestic tax counsel in each jurisdiction so his tax team they didn't know about other jurisdictions they didn't know international tax they didn't speak to each other they didn't understand how to negotiate the nuances of tax treaties totalization agreements foreign tax credits nothing like that so he was being double taxed triple tax he's being taxed all over so I said, okay, things, things are not so good, but we can help you out. And I sent him a proposal as to whatever. Dude gets upset. You know, he says our prices are way too high. The, his, the, the tax teams that did the returns, they were like a small fraction of what we were charging. And I was saying, yeah, I know, I know they were cheap because, you know, obviously look at your situation. And, you know, he walked away all upset and, you know, he, he was not a happy camper. And, so chances are he's walked away upset. He's going to go back to the same tax team who got him into that situation. So he can't get out of the, of the, the rut that he's in. All tax teams are not created equal. You know, I know it's a bit extreme, but I compare uh, tax professionals with medical professionals, right? So there are GPs, for example, but if you, if you need newer surgery or if you need a cardiologist, you don't expect a GP to know cardiology or to know the latest techniques in brain surgery. That's like a highly uh, specialized area of medicine, similarly with international tax. Yes, people know international, people know domestic tax, but international tax, it's a whole other beast. You know, we train with, you know, our teams are qualified in multiple jurisdictions and it takes a whole lot of time and a whole lot of experience to be able to do what we do. And again, when people get trained up to that level and they invest so much in themselves and their teams, they're not going to give that away for free. So, so my point is look for someone who's licensed, look for experience in multiple jurisdictions and don't expect it to be free and don't expect it to be cheap because, you know, who's going to invest years and years of time in terms of training and experience and then give it away for pennies on a dollar. It just doesn't make sense. That does not add up. And in business, as a business person, you should know if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So be very careful in choosing a tax team, okay?
Hope that helps. So if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.